Welcome to Rust Rating Economics. My name is Rocco, I'm your guide. Let's get started. You want to rate someone because they killed you. You don't even know what tools or weapons to use. If you're a more experienced player and you know the methods, you still find yourself wondering how much something gonna cost to rate. In this series, I'm gonna show you rating techniques in Rust and especially their financial side. We're going to go through the best methods for each building part, how to rate them and how much it is going to cost you to do that. In this first episode, we are gonna talk about the wooden door. It is the first item on the list you must absolutely know how to rate. You can do it with melee, fire, guns or explosives. If you decide to go melee because you don't have a better option or you want to be silent, it is recommended to use a sword or a hatchet. It's true that it takes 7 salvaged axes or 9 salvaged ice picks to get through one wooden door, but they are harder to get and they cost way more. You will need 10 swords or 11 hatchets to raid one wooden door. One sword costs 15 metal fragments and one metal blade. In total, 10 swords will cost 150 metal fragments and 10 metal blade. If you don't have the sword BP or you didn't find enough metal blades, you can go with 11 hatchets. One hatchet costs 75 metal fragments and 100 wood. So 11 costs 825 metal fragments and 1100 wood. It is a little bit more expensive and takes more time as well. If you want to be silent and quick as well, and you have a flamethrower, you will only need about 84 low grade fuel to raid one wooden door. It is important that you must burn the 84 low grade in one shot, instead of little amounts. If you fail to do this, it will cost you much more low grade. Also, do this from a little bit further if you don't want to get burned. Let's look at the costs now. A flamethrower costs 15 HQM, 6 metal pipe, 100 low grade fuel and 2 empty propane tanks to craft. Other than that, take 84 low grade fuel per door and a little extra to be sure. If you don't have a flamethrower and you don't want to spend 5 to 10 minutes for one door, you can always shoot. Best recommended to use shotguns or Eoka pistols. All types of shotguns except the spas and the Eoka will use the same amount of shells. It is recommended to use either incendiary shells or handmade shells. Also, don't try to use 12 gauge box shots or 12 gauge slugs, they cost way more. If you have the BP for incendiary, I recommend using that because it's faster and cheaper as well in total. You will need only 16 incendiary shells for one wooden door and it will cost you a total of 40 metal fragments, 80 gunpowder and 160 sulfur, which equals a total of 80 metal fragments, 320 sulfur and 240 charcoal. If you go with the handmade shells, you will need 45 pieces. The total costs are 115 stone, 115 gunpowder, which equals 240 sulfur and 360 charcoal. If you want to be more silent, you can always put the silencer on the pump action shotgun, remember that. Now the explosives. If you want to be even more efficient and quicker, but louder, you can use tier 1 explosives, bean can grenades or satchel charges. It takes 6 bean can grenades to raid one wooden door. Total costs are 120 metal fragments and 360 gunpowder, which equals 720 sulfur and 1080 charcoal. The bean cans are unreliable and can end up duds or have long fuses. If you're a bit richer, you can choose satchel charges, you will need two pieces, they can also be duds and it will cost you a little more. One satchel charge costs four bean can grenades, one small stash and one rope. The two satchel charges in total will cost you two ropes, 20 cloth, 160 metal fragments, 480 gunpowder, which equals 960 sulfur and 1440 charcoal. I hope this video will be useful for new and experienced players as well, that it will serve as a guideline when calculating the raid materials. You can just multiply the total amount of the chosen tool with the number of doors and there is your total cost. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.